Hi guys, it is November 19, 2018. I just saw that you guys in Britain may have martial law before we do here in the United States. In fact, it could be coming this week. But first I want to read a comment that I got six hours ago underneath my uh, fire update, California, the Paradise Campfire. I live in the UK. I can say that if the same happened, albeit on a smaller scale, we would all be up in arms. Up in arms, capital letters. Not talking guns, but in total anger. It seems to me that you and the USA have lost something. A sense of ownership and rightful anger. We live in a multicultural society. The UK, multicultural society? Really? Well, maybe now, but you were not a multicultural society. Um, and the multiculturalism, it's an orchestrated plan to destroy your country. But I'll go on with the comment. Yeah, multicultural society with many from Europe and further, Africa, Mideast, uh, the refugees. Um, the police do struggle, and that is bad, but when push comes to shove, most, capital letters, people here love this country for its freedom and, and tolerance. Yeah, the UK, it's on the top of the list for Americans who want to escape the tyranny that is manifesting here. The UK. Let's go to the UK for freedom. I, my hunch is that this commenter is a millennial, probably one who is out on the streets with signs that say, we love you, you know, as the migrants come into uh, Britain, the useful idiot. And look, I'm sorry, um, but there are useful idiots. An awful lot of them because they will not do the research to find out that what is happening is orchestrated. It's a plan to destroy your countries, Western countries, European countries, the United States, American country with the migrant caravan, with the Mexican police escorting them to the border. Interesting. Interesting. Cats come in, then they want to go out. Um, so, you should not be tolerant. You should not be tolerant. Now, I'm not talking about hating people. I'm not talking about... Because these um, migrants coming into all of our countries, they're being used. And many innocent people are getting caught up in this. So... No, it is not that I'm a racist, that I hate brown people, yellow people, black people. It has nothing to do with that. When you understand that this is a deliberate, orchestrated agenda taking place to destroy our countries, to open borders, destroy all nations' sovereignty, and in that destruction is our freedom and our individual rights. It's obvious now, so sorry, but yes, we have an awful lot of useful idiots that really need to look into what your local conspiracy theorist says. So, um, and it goes on. We would be marching on the House of Parliament and marching everywhere. It just seems to me that the people of the USA, not all but most, just let things like this wash over them and lay down. To make a change, you must, capital, unite. All right. You guys in the UK, you know what I know. And I know what you know. 
through your comments and emails. So this is not representative of the UK citizens, though maybe it's representative of the majority of the younger citizens in the UK. Um, it really is quite astounding this time that we are living. Americans, stupid people, dumb. But you guys have been dumbed down too. And I do believe that it has been the case for probably most European countries, the citizens never really look into the details of what their politicians are doing. That has been a big mistake because what our politicians have been doing for decades is destroying us, our freedom, our individual rights, all for, yes, a new world order that is taking shape. And every day they get closer and closer to destroying all of us. Theresa May said that it won't be any easier, Brexit won't be any easier even if I'm ousted. She defended last week's draft agreement for leaving the EU and said there was a critical week ahead and it's this week. So if the deal goes through and it is signed this week, the Brexit deal, then Brexit will happen on March 29. If there is no deal, what's going to happen? Well, apparently there is a secret army plan. Um, Operation Temperer. This was discovered, well, Sunday, your Sunday, so yesterday. The military has 1,200 troops on standby should there be a no deal this week. Apparently they think, I guess, that a lot of you are going to hit the streets rioting. I don't see that. I see a lot of you being very upset. I don't see Brits hitting the streets rioting. I could foresee your government, MI6, orchestrating a riot. So, 1,200 troops on standby and an additional 10,000 military personnel are available to assist with an emergency at short notice. Um, this is very concerning. Your Chief of Defense Staff General, Sir Nick Carter, said the Army would stand ready to help in the event of a no deal. Chief of Defense Staff, Sir Nick Carter, said, we make sensible contingency plans for all sort of eventualities, whether it's a terrorist attack, a tanker drive dispute, or industrial action. At this stage, I think people are confident there will be a deal. If there is not one, we stand ready to help in any way we can. When asked about the stockpiling of medicines, he said, we're involved in thinking hard about what it might involve. Stockpiling medicines? I guess they plan on a lot of people being hurt. We've not been asked to do anything specifically at this stage. At this stage. The team of around 20 officers 
based in the Army's headquarters in Andover, Hampshire, are also drawing up plans to create a lorry park in Folkestone near an Army training center to ease traffic in Kent. Um, what is Operation Temporer? Code name for the plan to put 5,000 troops on the streets following major terrorist threats. It was devised in 2015, was kept secret until yesterday. Um, Whitehall officials had kept it under wraps because it contained such sensitive information. Theresa May, who made the decision, makes her the first Prime Minister to use a new plan for a show of force in the face of major terrorist threats well, it seems that they have now merged terrorist threats with Brits being angry that there was no deal on Brexit. May said it would be the decision of police chiefs to decide where to deploy the military, though they are most likely to be used to guard top tourist attractions airports, railway stations, sporting venues, it does sound as if the army, the military, police are looking at you Brits as potential terrorists. Um, unfortunately, there are a lot of Brits, an awful lot of citizens in European countries that have no clue why the European Union was established to destroy your sovereignty. And I, my hunch is that an awful lot don't know about the um, clergy, clergy, clergy plan. What was his name? Richard uh, Kudenhoff, clergy drafted a plan to mix the races to destroy Europe. That's why you have all of these migrants coming into your countries. It's a orchestrated plan to destroy Europe, your culture, your people. So don't be tolerant of the politicians who are executing this plan. Don't be hateful of those who are being used to destroy you. They too are the useful idiots. Um, the Kumbaya idea, come on in, let's not have any, any, any person be called illegal. You have no clue what is taking place here. It's all to destroy our countries, destroy our sovereignty, and to hand over governance to the United Nations. The Rothschild family funds the Kalergi plan. The United Nations executes the Kalergi plan, which they actually, and I'm not sure if it's still on their site, but they had what is called, and I can't remember it exactly, resettlement migration or replacement migration. It's all to destroy white people. And you guys, you know, when I think about your culture in particular in Europe, European countries have such rich culture. You do not want it destroyed. And when you are so tolerant and now have decided that the UK is a multicultural society and you think that that's great, you've got no clue what your attitude about this does. It's a dangerous attitude to have. 
you're destroying yourself. Um, Iceland and Hungary, I think, are the only countries that booted out the Rothschild banks. Every European country. You all need to Brexit. You need to Frexit France. Spanxit Spain. Exit Germany. You all need to exit. The European Union is there to destroy you. Anyway, two videos. One, um, Gudenhoff Kalergi, I, I think I'm pronouncing that correctly, founder of the EU and white-hating socialist, gives an awful lot of information and the other video, the Nazis and fascists who founded the European Union and their influence today. All of you, everybody in Western countries, you need to look at what is going on. You need to do some research and find out what's behind all of these radical changes to your countries. If you don't, you end up being, yeah, the useful idiot that allows your own destruction. You don't want that. You really don't want that. Will you have martial law this week? I guess it's a wait and see. All links are below.